Um, obviously, being injured, I've uh, got a little bit more time on my hands, so uh, it's been a good opportunity to get out in the community. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a new initiative, uh, Tackling Numbers, sponsored by MBNA with uh, Premiership Rugby. It's just about making numbers fun for kids, really, getting a bit, using the social side of rugby to, uh, to hopefully get them out and running around, as we've seen, but, uh, but hopefully picking up a few numeracy skills on the way. Very energetic, and they all seem to be enjoying what they're doing. They're like, uh, you know, they were... Uh, running around and it's frustrating missing a semi-final, it's frustrating missing this as well. It looked like good fun out there today and uh, yeah, I'm sure there's some stars in the future. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not mathematically certain that we're in the playoffs. I mean, we're in a strong position, but we do need points out of tomorrow's game. I think we need at least a bonus point to, to guarantee it. But obviously at home, last game of the season, we want to make sure we're in winning form. Um, and from Leeds' point of view, they're, they're absolutely desperate. They need a win. Um, I don't know what's going on in the championship. Uh, I think Worcester are the only team that can come up, so if they may be relying on Worcester to slip up, but they'll want to come away to our, our, our home ground and throw everything at us. They're, they're proud men and they'll want to win. So, um, Well, I've played three years in the Premiership now. This is my fourth, and I've never been anywhere near a Heineken Cup final or a Premiership final, so I'm, I'm devastated that that's in jeopardy. Um, you know, We've done a lot of hard work this season, and it's kind of the accumulation of all that work that you know, you really want to be in fighting chance and work, winning some silverware at this stage of the season. So um, I'm absolutely gutted to miss any game, but especially those kind of big games. Missing the semi-final down in Milton Keynes the other week was one of the most painful experiences in my season. So, um, you know, it's a frustrating injury. It's not that painful, but, it, you know, it's one of those that just needs some time to heal. Uh, can't really put yourself at risk because uh, if I do, I, I could potentially be having operations and plates and other things. So uh, it's just about getting it right, really. It was just during a clash against Gloucester a couple of weeks ago. I've just fractured my uh, fibula in my right leg. Um, it's just a crack. It's not displaced or anything. So I've escaped without an operation so far. Um, it's just a case of having it in this boot, keeping it, keeping the weight off it, and uh, and hopefully giving it a chance, best chance to heal. And um, I'm not ruling out playing again this season. Initially, it was uh, it was very much in doubt. Uh, six to eight weeks was the initial prognosis, but um, you know I've thrown everything at it in terms of uh, you know giving it the best chance of healing. So hopefully I'll be, be uh, available again this season. Um, I think the final for the Heineken Cup is on the 21st and the final for the Premiership, if we make it, we've got to make it into the semis and then win a semi first, but uh, that'll be the week after. So, um, you know, I've, I'm coming out of the boot this week. I've got a, a scan later on in the week and hopefully that's good news and backs up the way I feel because I feel fairly confident on it. Um, yeah, and then obviously I've got to get back in the team. The lads have been playing really well. By definition, they're in finals, so uh, you know things are going going really well. And why change a winning team? So uh, first, I need to prove my fitness, and then hopefully give myself a chance of getting in the side somehow. Obviously, uh, Chris Ashton and uh, and Brian Majati have been named alongside myself for the uh, for the Player of the Season um, awards with Aviva this year, and uh, you know it's that's a massive bonus for the club. Just having those guys nominated. Obviously, it's a team sport. It's difficult to pick out individuals, but. Um, you know, having that kind of recognition is a big plus and, uh, and it shows that the club's going in the right direction. So, um, you know, for me personally, I'm just really proud to be nominated amongst such calibre of players. And, uh, you know, if anything comes of winning it, that'll be a huge bonus for me.